Hey everyone, I'm Weatherbug Meteorologist Miranda Hilgers back with a look at your national forecast. Yesterday, the snow was coming down across New England. Check it out on the webcam in Princeton, Massachusetts. We've seen the flurries flying here across the region into Boston as well. Seeing quite a bit of snowfall making for slick travel yesterday evening. Now the storm pulling offshore and we don't have to worry too much more about additional snow. Reports coming in around the uh, New England area, around the Boston area of nearly four to five inches in some spots. So. Of course, we saw hefty snows here back towards Connecticut, two to three inches as well. That's all coming to an end, and we're turning our attention back to the west for our next big weather maker that could make for travel headaches across the upper Midwest and Great Lakes as we move through into the weekend. Here it is on the satellite and radar into western, southwestern Canada, moving across the uh, border as we go through the rest of the day today and into Thursday afternoon. That's where we have winter weather advisories in place and a winter storm watch out here between Cutbank and Helena, where our wind speeds will be amplified. Our Snow totals starting to climb up between two and five inches. And of course, this is going to spread out as we move through the next few days. The future cast already bringing it in by the time we hit Wednesday afternoon. A little wintry mix here and there, spreading out that snow through the Dakotas and into the central plains as we go through ahead to our Friday time frame. It could be winding up with a little bit of wintry mix as we head towards northern Missouri. So three day snow likely to stay north of uh, Des Moines, Iowa, north of Omaha as well. But to the south, a significant rain event with a chance a potential of some thunderstorms in the southeast by the time we hit the weekend. Here's a look at the temperature trend showing that cold blast being brought down by the storm system. All of the heat builds into the east and temperatures along the Atlantic coast rise briefly before this cold blast arrives as we head into next week. So temperatures today feeling warm in the midsection of the nation, but the cold air is advancing already with highs out towards Billings pulling into the 40s. Denver still well above average into the mid 60s. Here's a look at your lows tonight. 